Hello everyone, welcome back. I wanted to make a quick merge plugins video to show how easy it is to expand your load order with plugins beyond the 254 ESP limit. Old Rim's modding system allows you to have 254 plugins maximum activated at once, and they use a hex decimal system. A hex decimal system is a 16 number based system that uses 0 through 9 as 1 through 10, and then A through F to complete the 16 number count. And then this count repeats 16 more times until you get to 256. However, keep in mind that the base game and the DLCs and any file that has .esp at the end of it uh, counts as one of these slots in your load order. Since the release of Special Edition, modders are now able to convert some of their mods as ESL files. And the limit for ESL files is 4096. However, some plugins are still ESP and cannot be converted to ESL as you can with some files using a program called Rybash. There is a lot of good legacy mods out there that you might want to use in your load order. And when you're starting off with a pre-built profile like AVO, you might want to carry some of those mods over. In order to avoid bloating your load order or going over 254 ESP limit, we can merge some of these ESP files together with an app called Merge Plugins. You can get this app in the old rim nexus. However, it works for any version of Skyrim that uses .esp files because it's only modifying the ESP file. Another advantage of alleviating some space in your load order is that if you are merging one of the older old rim mods that have the form 43 error, it will get rid of that error because now the new merge plugin is created in form 44. Before we start merging mods, I just wanted to go over some mods that you should avoid merging, such as master plugins or plugins that have dependencies, framework plugins, and plugins that are basically new or constantly being updated. Some more advice on merging plugins is that you should group like and like together, such as armor mods and weapon mods, for instance. You can merge these in one mod called armor mods. And you shouldn't merge too many mods together because you can easily make uh, armor pack 1, armor pack 2, etc. and activate them for certain playthroughs or stages in the game. If you make an ESP too large, it would have a noticeable delay when initially booting Skyrim since this is when Skyrim loads all of your mods. Lastly, keep your merged mods and the mods you use to make the merge so you can edit it easier. You can remove or add plugins to your merged mod. However, you will need to load all of the mods that you used to create it in order to do so. This includes removing plugins from the merge. I've been in many situations where a mod author removed the mod from the Nexus and I would have to create a new merge without that mod, even if that wasn't the mod that I wanted to remove from the merge in the first place. Okay, to get started, first download the app. And once you've done that, you'll need to extract it to its own directory so you can point to it using mod organizer. AVO already has a subdirectory called tools and this is where it places its dindo lod, enb manager and all of the other tools that come pre-configured with it. I recommend using this directory. So create a folder here, name it merge plugins and then we're going to extract all the files into this directory. All right. So once we've done that, go back to AVO, hit the drop down here on the top right, edit, and then add an executable. And you'll need to point it to the directory where you just placed it. So again, tools, merge plugins, merge plugins, um, and apply. Okay. Right. In order to use the app, we'll need to uh, merge some plugins. So I've already chosen two armor plugins. So for instance, we have Crimson Twilight and Volcare Knight. This is just for two examples. For instance, you can merge as many plugins as you want together. Again, I recommend that you keep them categorized and set a limit, maybe no more than 20, 30 mods at a time, uh, or plugins in each merge mod. So let's go ahead and start. We're going to have to activate these two. It doesn't matter where they are in the load order, they're not going to stay there. So then we go to the drop down menu, 
and we're going to run merge plugins. You'll need to tell merge plugins where your Skyrim directory is. So find your AVO installation and point merge plugins to the game root folder. Click on it, it'll turn blue from green and the OK button will be highlighted. So now, here we are in merge plugins. It's going to pick up all of your activated plugins. So I recommend that you right click, uncheck all, check the mods that you're going to merge and they have dependencies as do all mods. These mods are dependencies, obviously the main game. So you'll have to If you get an error message after that, you can just click through it. And as long as Merge Plugins pops up, you should be all right. And then after that, it'll automatically put you into options. What you should do is go into integrations, set I'm using mod organizer and the directory and the mods directory. Then in merging, hit extract BSAs and merge plugins will extract the BSAs and the assets of the mods that it's merging into its own mod in the AVO mods directory. But that can be pretty messy and it can get messy pretty fast. So I suggest going to the subdirectory of tools, merge plugins, and creating a folder here for your merges. Once that's done, you can hit OK. And now we'll have to run an error check on these two mods. Once that's done, you'll get these flags and you'll have to create an ESP file. In order to do that, we're going to name this one armor pack one and then we're just going to copy that name and make that into the file name so now you've created the esp and if you have more mods here you can just simply right click on them and add them to the merge pack once that's done you can go over to merges and if you have more merges that you've done previously you'll see them all over here their names the corresponding file size and if you click on them you'll see the files that are in here so every time that you load uh, merge plugins, if you're going to go ahead and edit this file, you'll need to load it with all the plugins that you originally created it with. Even if you're going to remove one of these plugins, you'll need to load everything up. Uh, like we just loaded the two files that we were about to merge. And then you should be able to edit your file normally. And you can click on build merges. And it's going to extract all that into the directory in merge plugins that we just set. We'll close that out. Okay, so once we're there, we can see that our armor pack 1.esp was extracted successfully. You have a merge folder, which will tell you which mods are supposed to be in here. And if you go to meshes, it should extract the BSA files and the assets appropriately into the merge plugins. But sometimes I found that that doesn't happen, but we'll, we have a way around that in case. We can check over here and see that Volcair Knight did extract all of, its, all of its meshes and textures. However, it seems that Crimson Twilight is missing. So what we can do is we can simply go to Crimson Twilight and take its assets leaving the ESP file. I'm going to copy these over and paste them right into here. And once that's done, I can copy the mod into my mod directory. So I'm just going to go ahead and right do that. And then we're just going to paste it in here. So this is the AVO mods directory. And armor pack one is right there. Refresh mod organizer. And you should see the mod pack right here. And we don't need these two anymore. And now we can go ahead and start Skyrim. So now we make sure that everything was installed correctly. I'm using add item to check the items and add them to my inventory. 
I purposely left the mod at the end of the load order so I can find it easier by scrolling all the way to the bottom. And then on the right side, preview, you can see all the meshes and textures were installed correctly. And if something doesn't show up, go back and make sure you didn't miss any assets. If you found this video useful, hit like. And if you want to see more, subscribe. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you.